What's up everybody? It's Kurt here and I'm back with another maths video. And in this video, we'll be looking at another method to add, or like some people say, another addition technique. And it's called the expanded vertical column method. So, let's work. Just another reminder that if you haven't watched the previous three videos that it might be a good idea for you to watch those three videos to help you better understand what we are going to do in this video. But with that being said, let's tackle our question. We'll be looking at 124 plus 232. So let's write down our question. 124 plus 232. Okay, so now we're going to expand each number and then add. So let's see what that looks like. We've got 124 on the left over here, okay? Now we're going to expand 124 into its place values. So the 1 for 100 plus the 2 is for 2 tens, which is 20 plus the 4, which is 4 ones. There we go. Now, we're going to write down 232. And these two we're going to add. So we've got 232. And the 2 is 200, which is 200. Plus, the 3 is 3 tens, which is 30. Plus, the 2 over here is 2 ones, which is 2. Now, all we're going to do now is add these numbers. We're going to start by adding the 1s, then the 10s, then the 100s. So, 4 plus 2 gives us 6. 20 plus 30 gives us 50. Here we go. Plus the 100 plus the 200 gives us 300. And there we go. Our answer over here is 300 plus 50 plus 6. And we can see that our answer is expanded into its place values. But we know we want our final answer in this form over here. So all we have to do is write it in that form. So we've got 300 because 3 is in the hundreds place. We've got 5 in the tens place and six in the ones place. There we go. Our answer is 356. And that's how you do the expanded vertical column method. But just before we go, to test your knowledge and to see if you know it, you have to do a question and then you pause, you tackle it and we do it together. Your question is 372 plus 517. Pause and see you soon. And that is our answer, 889. And that's it for today. If you didn't get this answer, then tackle a few more questions. Trust me, the more you put in the time, the more you work with the base 10 blocks and the flawed cards and tackle these questions and the various techniques, the more you're going to understand the work and everything is going to come together nicely. Okay? Don't give up. But that is it for today's video. Please hit that like, share and subscribe button. But until next time, stay safe, stay liquor, and do the math.